No, no. Yeah, some good stuff into the front of the court from Tinner there. Great rally. Oh, oh no, what a finish. No, no, that's a scandal. <laughs> that's a scandal. Talk about putting spin on the ball. Oh. Not quite finding. We saw one beautiful finish, but Tinegillis hasn't quite found the the volley attacks that goes in. Oh, oh it's incredible movement again. Nine, four, four, from Naylor. Right box, please. I mean, just as the camera angle saw that, I mean, I didn't think she was going to get this. What a shot. Unpleasant. So they have got the towel boxes, the little black boxes at the front. Down. And there, Nelly Gillis seals the deal with the clench fist in the Battle of the Sisters. It's the older. It's an unbelievable shot. That really is. Extraordinary shot off a cross court. The volley boasts off a cross court. Just took all the pace out of the ball there as well at full stretch. Look at that. It's an absolute missile right that box. Naylor launches Three, from that backhand back corner. Check that out. Yeah, I mean, both feet off the ground there. Well, 27 and 26. I'm not sure what the exact birthdays are. Star size. <laughs> Favourite food. <laughs> oh, my word. This is, I mean, that's... I know, this is when it becomes yeah. outrageous. And this is what... Just, it's literally like cannons going in. It's nail has been as tough as nails here. Remain composed. Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head there, Paul. She read it, didn't she? She read yes. it. Ten out. Eight, nine. She was off. Oh, it's just unbelievable stuff again from Hillis covering that front court. Here we go again. Down. Oh, she squeezed an error. That's through okay. frustration, you feel, from Tenor. Well, that was the biggest reaction we've heard all week from the crowd, the but... Two games to love. Yeah, Play. the worst thing that can happen is she starts making more headway now. It's more like the quality from Tenor Gillis. That's better. That's what I was talking about, Paul. She's got Three, to really four. start hedging her bets nicely and get that pinpoint accuracy up in the front of the court in particular. Well, are we, oh, sorry. Are we going to see once again Naylor able to weather the storm here? Needs to make a move quickly if she's going to do. Well, one thing I can guarantee that if Tinner does win this, I was saying it earlier, then Naylor will ask for the new ball and then that will put it back again. But that's a great rally. Hello. So she is responding. That's it, right on cue, the attacks. The attacks are there, she's finding her range as this ball softens up even more.
Down. Well, she's converted. She's converted the third. A joke. That is a. I want to see that again. Look how far behind the body the ball is there. It's a Belgian slider, that one. Yeah, it's a massive rally, this one. They're going like the clappers. Not oh, she's just did enough on that low kill. And now. Huge point five. to give a two-point lead. I wouldn't say it's a cushion. Oh, this is outrageous. What Fantastic. a response from Tina Gillis. That is the quality that we need to see, and that's what we've seen in the last couple of games from Tinnachilis. No margin for error, but look at the severity, and it's got to be that good to get past the movement. Well, we're approaching 80 minutes of world-class squash, Paul. After a heavy week of matches. Yeah, it's been every bit what we'd hoped and dreamed for here to finish things off in Singapore. Yeah, it's a clever shot. It's, hurt, it's a great it? shot. Lovely shot. Out. It's out of court. It's the biggest title. Nayla Gillis. Having to play her sister, Tina Gillis, in the final here in Singapore. And it was an epic battle, an outrageous battle. Coming back from two games to love down, the younger, to just not quite close it out.